So, let's start with the components. I've chosen a clone of Kebab FPV Stood Pick 3, the K-Pro 125. It's very cheap and the carbon is cut well enough. Next we have the JSC MCU VOOP only in one board. I've chosen the 20 amp version because this quad is gonna consume a lot of amps, so that's fine. The motors are Skystar 1103 with 1.5 mm shaft. The receiver is a Spectrum compatible receiver. Next we have an FPV All-in-One Camera Plus VTX, this is the Ishin TX06, HQ Prop 65mm props, and finally a pair of GMB 2S 450mA batteries. Let's start with the build. First of all we have to screw the motors on the frame. Unfortunately the screws included aren't long enough so I had to use my own M2 by 6 mm screws. Now we have to solder the motors on the board. First of all we have to cut a millimeter or two from the wire. Now we have to pretty in both the Y and the solder parts before soldering. It's very important to use a small tip and real 6040 solder. Next, solder the VTX according to the scheme. You can follow this scheme to connect your receiver, then we can proceed to install the XT30 and the capacitor to the board. Ok now 3 pin the canopy you will find in the description and screw it together. This will be the final result. Now we can start configuring Betaflight. We can enable motor direction is reversed. This option will make the Yaw authority much much better. Then we need to check the motor direction. Configurator, 
and change from normal to reverse to motor that is going the wrong way around. Then press right setup and disconnect. Now go back to Betaflight Configurator, calibrate the accelerometer. Now go to the Pulse tab and enable Serial RX to UART2 and VTX Smart Audio to UART1. In the Configuration tab you just need to set the receiver type, in my case I'm using a Spectrum radio so I put it to Spectrum 2048. Now go to the receiver tab and set the channel map according to your radio. Now go to the mode tab and set up your modes. Then download the VTX table from the description and import it. Alright guys, it's time for the maiden flight and as you can see the quadcopter works really really well. You've reached the end of this video, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time!